So I've been developing this kind of concept that is not really fully flushed out yet. And it's just kind of a concept that has come to me over the course of a few months now um, as an educator and a mentor for producers who are trying to get into music licensing. And I wanted to just make this video as a sort of stream of consciousness attempt to explain what this concept is because I don't really, again, have it completely nailed down yet, but I think there's something to it. I think there's something really insightful and useful and interesting about it. Um, but maybe just by turning the camera on, spewing out what comes to mind, it can kind of become a little more crystallized. So I get these emails every single week and they are basically producers and maybe you're in a situation right now where people are feeling demotivated, uninspired, not sure if this is gonna work out for them. They're really, they tried their best or they, and they are trying their best, but they're just seeing that the road ahead of them is really long, really far out there, and they've lost the confidence that it's gonna work out for them. And they're really sort of weighing whether or not they should just go throw in the towel, try something else, or just give up entirely on music altogether. Um, and my heart really goes out to those of you that are in that position because I've been there many times, okay? First-hand experience, I know how um, just horrible that feels. So I don't um, take it lightly when I get those emails and I do really consider that a very serious issue, okay? Like sort of career-ending seriousness, okay? So I understand the, what the stakes are for that kind of a situation. But the concept that kind of always comes back to me is this idea of the fact that we all tell ourselves a certain story about our lives, about what our career trajectory is, okay? So right now, your story probably is you have a full-time job, you've got a day job, but you want music to be the full-time gig for you, okay? So you are working towards making music licensing your full-time job so you could literally give your boss a two weeks notice and just work from your home studio and sort of live the life of your dreams and make a, a great consistent um, living from producing music, right? That is your story right now. From this point on in the video, I'm just gonna call that your script, okay? So it's basically like a script of a movie. So that is your, your script. Now, that is a great story and that's a great script. Imagine if Hollywood came out with a movie right now and it was about a guy with a day job trying to make music licensing his full-time job. You would go to see that movie, wouldn't you? I certainly would. I wanna know how does that story end and what are the sort of um, twists and turns that the plot takes to get from you know day job to music licensing. It's a great story. And in that script, you are the hero, right? Because you are trying to do something very difficult and that's what every great movie, every great story has. You have to go through a journey from point A to point B. But what does every story and every movie have? Is it just a complete smooth line from A to B or are there setbacks, obstacles, moments when you think the hero is not gonna make it, right? That's what makes a, a movie really interesting, keeps you on the edge of your seat, keeps your interest there at the entire time through. So when I get these emails from people and they're very uh, depressing sounding and they're very almost fatalistic in terms of I just don't think it's gonna work out and I don't really know and they're just desperately looking for something to inspire them, I always think, oh, well, that's the point in the script of every movie, of every you know documentary you've ever seen where the main character faces a major dilemma and it, or a major setback and it doesn't become clear to the audience member is, the, is, the, is our hero going to make it or not, right? Everybody goes through that. I've been through that. I still go through that. Every person on planet Earth goes through that point of not sure if it's going to work out for them. Now, here's the, the insightful thing I think might be useful for you guys. If you hit that point and your script is telling you, and this is the part where I just give up or sort of don't think about it as much, kind of start getting more into watching Netflix or playing video games or, you know, whatever, just not doing it anymore. Well, that's a really boring script, right? Imagine you went to a movie and the hero is trying to make music licensing his full-time job. He hits a couple of rough patches. Maybe, you know, didn't get accepted by a library too. Maybe uh, was working at it for a year or so, didn't see a lot of royalties. Maybe um, just was hitting writer's block crazy like crazy and just could not get past it and imagine the movie resolves by the main character just sitting down turning on the tv and watching netflix for the rest of the the movie <laughs> i mean you'd want your money back right that's a terrible script that's a horrible story nobody wants to see a movie like that 
okay? So in some ways, maybe this kind of helps put yourself outside of your perspective and imagine your life is a story. It is a script, it is a movie, okay? And when you hit that major obstacle and that major um, sort of pushback point in your career, you have a choice, all right? That can be a plot end, that could be a movie ending plot point where basically you hit rejection or some sort of lack of motivation and then that's it, rolls credits, movie's over, the hero doesn't get to the destination, boo hoo, that sucks. That's a really crappy script. That's a really bad story. So remember that in any point in any hero's journey, there is going to be that moment where you have to do seem, something seemingly impossible or, or something when the audience member doesn't know if you're going to make it. And certainly you as the main character of your story, you don't know if you're going to make it, okay? But you are in complete control of when or whether or not you completely just fold and <laughs> leave the audience with a really terrible story, which is you just give up on it, okay? So you can you can control that script in a way to say, you know what, this is the part of my story where I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. But you know what? Every good movie has that plot point. Every movie worth watching, every story worth listening to, every book worth reading has got to have that point in it, right? If you don't have that point of whether or not it's going to work out, it's just boring. You know, it's too easy. The thing just moves on too smoothly. And that's not how life works anyways. So just remember, I think that last point was really what I was trying to make this whole video for, was to really just crystallize that, that it's, it's supposed to happen and it's necessary. And when you hit it, just know that that is the point where you as the main character of your story can push through it and get to that next point. And that's a script change you can do in your mind, okay? Um, maybe you never thought about it this way and maybe this video can help you do that rather than sitting and sulking in your you know, self-pity or lack of motivation or feeling unaware or un uncertain of your future and just you know, wallowing in just that negativity. Rather than doing that, Imagine they were filming a documentary about your life. And what would they say at this point in your career? Would they say, yeah, and this is the point where Joe Smith jumped off the train and, and was just done with music licensing forever and gave up on it. It's kind of a sad end to the story, isn't it, right? Wouldn't you rather have the story where this is the point where Joe Smith didn't know if it was going to work out, but he decided to push through it and push through it and try something new and go for it and go for it. And eventually he started seeing some, some shoots of success. He started setting, getting some acceptance letters and some placements and royalties and things started working out for him. But if he had given up at that one crucial point, we wouldn't have had that happy ending of full-time music licensing. Is this making sense or am I just spewing into the ether nonsense? I, I don't know. I think, it, I think it's ringing true. I think you guys are hopefully grasping the concept I'm sharing. I've, I'm feeling I'm being as <laughs> um, articulate as I possibly can, given that this is sort of a, a you know, a, a new concept that I'm kind of messing with. So, but anyways, let me guys know if this made sense to you first and foremost, if this helps, if this is kind of useful for you, please comment below. Like if you got inspired by this, please. I appreciate it.